Here's a look at uh, Jimmy P's workbench. What's going on here is a VTOL project. Uh, I uh, saw the, the uh, posting by uh, Randy Sinclair on Flight Test's website where he converted a FT Explorer to a vertical takeoff landing uh, airplane. Uh, I've been interested in doing that for a while, but uh, I tried myself a few times uh, with the KK2 board try to figure it out and it just seemed really complicated so uh, this article by uh, Randy was really well done it gave uh, parameters for uh, easy uh, flight uh, and uh, very easy flight uh, that being uh, uh, stabilized in uh, airplane mode as well as uh, quadcopter mode or the uh, easy flight being stabilized in uh, just the uh, quadcopter mode but uh, before I put this into action, I wanted to uh, bench test it. So I got everything sitting out here on the bench. I've got the four quad motors just laying here. I've got the forward flight motor here. My KK2 board, uh, it's flashed with open arrow v VTOL uh, firmware 1.5. I've got a, a CPPM uh, receiver here by Lemon RX, uh, one cable connection to the KK board, uh, three servos to uh, simulate my uh, airplane, and uh, uh, just a quick overview, I've got four uh, ESCs, uh, they're optos, uh, so I'm powering the KK2 and the receiver with uh, BEC here, um, and uh, uh, if you haven't worked with a KK board, you've got a two different power buses so I'm powering the first uh, pin um, along with the ESC plugged into there um, with the BEC and that powers the KK board plus the uh, receiver uh, the uh, servos are uh, need to be powered and they're being powered with the BEC from the forward thrust motor uh, so that's the setup everything's just lying here now I uh, first uh, programmed with exactly the uh, settings uh, from the article that Randy did and it didn't work exactly right. I had to do a little tinkering to figure out uh, what was going on. So what's supposed to happen is uh, in, uh, in vertical takeoff mode it flies like a quadcopter with the uh, four motors normal quadcopter type of action. and. Uh, once you get it up, you can switch it to forward uh, flight uh, mode. At first, there's a, an in-between setting, so, so it's sort of slow forward flight. Um, and then when you go full forward flight, um, the quadcopter motors turn off, and you only have the thrust motor, uh, forward thrust motor, uh, on, and uh, vice versa. So when it's quadcopter mode, the quads are running, and the forward thrust is off. But that wasn't the case with the settings I had um, uh, when I switched between modes uh, when it was quadcopter mode I would have still the uh, forward motor uh, turning slowly and also when I was in full forward flight the quadcopter motors were turning slowly so I had to do a little tinkering I figured it out um, and uh, I think I've got it solved so here's how it works let me turn it on um, so right now I've got the three-way switch. It's in uh, quadcopter mode. If I go to the middle setting, that will be uh, slow forward flight. And then all the way down there is uh, only uh, full floor forward flight. Uh, so I'll set that back to quadcopter mode. I'll power up. And it's just booting up. And so, okay, we've got it here. So we can see, maybe get close enough, that we're disarmed and we're in P1 mode. Um, if I turn the uh, switch to uh, slow forward flight, we're at P1.N uh, or something like that. Um, and then full forward flight, it ramps up slowly. You have to get close and it ramps up slowly to... Uh, full P2 mode and 100%. So there it is there. So I'm going to arm in the uh, quadcopter mode. I'm going to arm the uh, flight controller. The LEDs on. 
Uh, so we see here we got ailerons, elevator, rudder servos working. And I'm going to speed up the motors. They're just kind of hanging here. So here we got quadcopter action happening. You can see in here, if I turn the aileron, we're getting side to side, forward back. We're getting some yaw action through that. So that seems to be working right. Now when I switch it to slow forward flight, you should see our thrust motor, and yes, it picks up, and it'll speed up as well. Um, so that we'll have to see how that tunes out in the air, the percentage between that and that. In full forward flight, it's going to ramp up over 8 seconds, give us full more thrust there, and there their quads are turned off. Now back to slow forward flight. Quad motors turn on, this slows up, and we're in slow forward flight, and then back to full quad mode, flying around like so. So I think that's working. The next step will be to get this on the uh, plane, uh, build some uh, parts, and uh, we'll see how it uh, flies from there. Disarming, back out, we're disarmed. Good. Power off. Done. Thanks for watching.